Hi everybody, this is Victoria, and um, I'm actually doing voice over um, this film. Um, as you can see, I've taken my uh, little peg people, and I'm just kind of blocking in all of the um, bottom parts of, I, I did the faces already, as you can see, and I'm just filling in all of the bottom parts with just solid colors. And I like to keep things on the simple side. Um, I mean, if you're a detailed person and you wanna paint in details, I say wait and use the paint pens, which in my opinion, really help out a lot. Um, I mean, you still have to, you know, hold your hands still and, and everything. So as you can see, I am putting in the eyes it's kind of a little assembly line. Once I start with one, then I um, I just go on with uh, the rest of them. And these are going to be, of course, my little dwarfs. And um, I'm pretty much, I remember when I was doing this, I was sort of making it up as I went along. I didn't really want to copy um, uh, Disney so much. It just kind of put my own spin on what I could remember growing up. Um, as a child and seeing different versions of Snow White. So I really wanted my little dwarves to look, of course, um, unique and original. So as you can see right now, I'm putting all the belts on all of them and then I'll go back and do the buckles later. Um, Artistro makes wonderful paint pens and I find that for detailed work like you know, the eyebrows, the eyes, um, like I'm doing her the little dress right now. Um, this is just so much simpler when you have paint pens. Um, number one, you don't have to keep dipping it in the paintbrush, I mean in the paint, and um, you don't have to really know how much paint to put on your paintbrush. It just kind of lets out the amount that you need. And I have tried a lot of paint pens, a lot of different companies, and I have to say that Artistro definitely has the highest quality and they um, just the, the way they just go on smoothly. It's by far the best company that I have found for paint pens. And it's very easy to buy them. You get them, they ship out very quickly. Um, again, it's uh, Artistro art supplies, but you can just go to artistro.com and they'll have everything listed right there. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm just blocking in her little sleeves. I've already done her cheeks and her um, hair. And I kind of just flip flop while I'm letting her dry. I'll, I'll go on to something else. And there's a little detail in here on her sleeve that I wanted to do that um, I thought would kind of give it more of a, you know, a fairy tale look. So uh, anyway, uh, I know that uh, I've already done the three little pigs and I've done the Wizard of Oz and I mainly started this for my grandkids so I could do, we could do storytelling with them but I'm finding that it's just really really good therapy for me. So as you can see I've got this little beard that's kind of a almost an Amish look about it and so um, it's now I did these beards out of felt and um, so course none of this had to be painted in but I really wanted to um, create something that had more texture to it and I sometimes I will incorporate felt or just watercolor paper so all I did was take some pinking shears and kind of do like a, a U shape I cut out a U shape and then I took a regular pair of scissors and um, cut uh, did another U shape and that seemed to work out perfectly for um, the size of the beard. As you can see, I don't have a pattern. I usually don't when I'm doing uh, work like this. I improvise and as I'm going along, I see things that need to be either shortened or lengthened and, um, and, and I just keep playing with it until I find the size. Um, as you can see, some of my elves are smaller than the other elves, so I have to improvise with the beards, but this is basically how I did the beard. Um, I did send away for some wooden peg um, mushrooms, and so I just thought, well, I'll just do the traditional painting them solid, one color on top, uh, brown on the bottom, and put some little polka dots on them. 
So now this is how I created the hats. I, it almost looks like a Pac-Man shape. It's a circle with a mouth. And then as you curl it around, you get this cone shape. And this is done with watercolor paper. And the reason why I chose it is because it's thicker and it will hold paint very well. So after I got done gluing all of them, once again, I'm back in assembly line. Um, I hand painted each one a different color. Um, of course, I had to do a couple of different sizes because I have some smaller L's here. I could have kept it simple and just did them all the same size. But anyway, so I'm just gluing them all on and um, doing some last minute touches on Snow White, um, giving her some flowers. Uh, later, I decided that I wanted to give everybody a smile. Um, in the beginning, I didn't think I was going to do that, but then later I just thought, no, they, they need a smile. So, but as far as the finishing touches go, that's really up to you what you want to do and how much you want to add to it. Um, let your imagination just kind of run with you. There's, I mean, what I'm giving you right now is just quick instruction on how I do it, but that doesn't mean you need to follow it exactly. I always encourage my students to use their own imagination and their own creativity in each of the projects that I teach. So this is really the end of this little lesson. They're done. And thank you for watching. And please share this video. Um, isn't this cute? <laughs> I love the little parade of elves and you can just almost hear them singing, hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, subscribe, share with your friends. And please stay to the end of this video because I have a another video that I want to show you that is with the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. So until we paint again, thank you for watching and God bless you and take care until we paint again. Bye-bye.